Okay, this is the Click and Cut 24 inch Max, and I'm going to show you how to use the flash drive to bring up files to cut. Now, first of all, um, I turn on the machine, and then I plug the flash drive into the little USB port that's in between the two ports that you'll see. You'll see your USB uh, port that's available for connecting USB tape, uh, cable. You'll see the one for connecting. I'll see if I get, no, I don't think I can get down here, but it's in the tutorial that I wrote. I have a photo. And of course, you can look at it yourself. It'll be the middle port. That's the one the USB flash drive will plug into. Now then, up here on my display. Well, first of all, before remember that once you select your file, it's going to start cutting right away. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead, put your paper or whatever in. And I recommend you start with a pen and paper just to make sure everything's working correctly before you start cutting. All right, so go ahead and put your paper in. Load your paper. Make sure your pinch wheels are under under the white rectangles, okay, on both sides, right over here. Put a test pin in, and like I said, I have a sheet of paper. Now that I'm going to set my origin for the drawings, I'm going to put it in the front right corner, and then I'm going to press the origin button. Then I'm going to go back online, okay, and now then you'll see that I'm online, and I've set the speed and force that I want to use for drawing, okay. Now then the next step to select the file is to press the menu button three times. And when I press it three times, it's going to come up and it's going to say, Read U Disk. At this point, to make that to say yes, I just come over and I press the Origin button. If I didn't want to read it, then I could have pressed uh, just the menu button again to go back to my main menu. Now then you'll see it says 001 slash 016. That says it's found 16 different files or folders, and this is the first one. Now this right here, remember I showed in my software video, that this, you know, I've got these four little slashes here, and what that means is that it's a folder, so I can't open it. I mean, I can try pressing origin, but it's not going to open. So, instead, I'm going to use these plus and minus, the top plus or the bottom minus button to scroll through the files. So, I'm going to start by pressing the, the, the minus button, just to show you that it's going to show some of these files that are not PLT files. See how it says it brought up that .exe file that I had, and then it brings up that .doc file and a .pdf file. None of these are, um, yeah, there's the PDF file. None of these are going to, to cut. They're not going to do anything. If I inadvertently select, if I hit the origin button and select it, it's going to start acting really weird over here on the display, and I'll need to just turn off the machine, okay? So don't display those. But otherwise, I just come up here until I find one of my cut files, and let's say this is the one I want. Then all I have to do is just press the origin button, okay? And then watch what happens. It's going to just immediately start uh, drawing whatever file it was. And in this case, it was just, um, let's go offline, it was just a simple arrow that I was doing for a test. But that's the way it works. Um, if for some reason I wanted to repeat this file or repeat this cut, then I could just go offline. I could change sheets of paper, change my mat or whatever, set my new origin, okay? And then while in the offline mode, hit repeat, and it will just repeat that last cut again. So this could be very useful for anyone who's in a production type mode where they need to just cut the same thing over and over and over again. So, um, of course, also I didn't have to use a repeat. I could have just brought up the menu again. Um, at this point, like I said, I could come right over and I could press the menu button again three times. Select the press the origin button as a way to answer yes. It pops up again with my same menu, and then I can scroll down, scroll through, and find the next file I need. So I think that's it. It's a pretty simple process. If you have any questions, contact me.